Well, you know, the filter fish means stuffed fish in Yiddish and also in German. Uh, and, and they always used fresh fish, live fish. There was a live fish store in every Jewish neighborhood. The, the fishmonger would say, uh, look, if you like that carp, take it home with you. So we should take it home and we had an empty, we had one bathroom that we never used. And we would put the carp in the bathtub and keep it for maybe a week or so until it was time to make the fish fresh. They would take it back to the fish store because by then they had a fish grinder. Uh, so the guy would kill it and skin it, take the flesh and grind it up with pike and mullet and uh, perch. and. Uh, then that was in filter fish. But before the fish markets had a meat grinder, I was the chopper when I got old enough, about 11 or years or so. We would put all the pieces of fish that we would take off the bones and out of the skin, and we kept the skin intact of the large carp. And I was the chopper with a wooden bowl and a hand chopper. What was done was the chopped fish was placed into the skin of the carp. It was the size of fish burgers, but inside the skin. Now there was extra fish left over. So they would uh, stew this stuff for a couple hours, I think, or a long time. I, I don't remember the time. They would put some of these coins of carrot in between each layer and, and lay them into the stew pot and just keep stewing. And then the fish left over that couldn't fit into the skin, they would put in without the skin. And they called them coils, which are like coal, because it's the seasoning and the stewing and the vegetables, the carrots and other things. I don't remember all the things that went into that stew pot. But that's what makes the flavor.